हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अदेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स वी नो दैट हैप्पीनेस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ह्यूमन लाइफ वी ऑल सीक हैप्पीनेस इन अवर लाइफ बट इज हैप्पीनेस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन लाइफ देर हैज़ बीन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन आस्क ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टीन सो लेट अस सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन लेट अस ट्राई टू राइट एन आंसर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स एस्पायर फॉर हैप्पीनेस डू यू एग्री what does happiness mean to you explain with examples so when we read this question the answer of this question seems to be very very obvious we may say that happiness is something which everybody aspires for but it is not that simple because there are certain things which are more important than happiness so let us first talk about what is happiness we all know what is the meaning of happiness we experience happiness sometime we experience unhappiness sometime we know that happiness is subjective and it is a matter of personal experience but the term happiness is used to describe a range of positive emotions including joy pride contentment and gratitude so when we are having these emotions in our heart we feel happy and when we are lacking these emotions then we are unhappy but happiness is actually not contained in the act itself it is the result or the outcome of that particular act so you can't make yourself happy by doing a particular act it is only what you feel about that particular act that makes you happy or unhappy now this particular question says that everybody aspires for happiness do you agree with that or not now you can agree with this statement and you can disagree with this statement and the most important thing is that you should be able to properly justify whether you agree with this or disagree with this let us now write an answer if we agree with this statement that means we agree that all human beings aspire for happiness now in this particular context the thoughts of aristotle are very very important aristotle said that all the human activities are directed toward an end so for example if you are writing civil services examination you want success in the civil services examination you want to become an ias or ips officer when you are doing a business you want to earn wealth so ultimately whatever we do there is always an end but all these ends actually go for one final end and that final end is nothing but happiness which was called by somam bonam by aristotle and that is basically a goal beyond which we don't want anything else so the aim of life is not goodness for its own sake but ultimately happiness for we choose happiness for itself and never with a view to anything further whereas we choose honor pleasure intellect because we believe that through them we shall be made happy and therefore happiness is ultimately what we aspire and that's why aristotle said that happiness is the meaning and purpose of life the whole aim and end of human existence so friends this is how we can explain that all human beings aspire for happiness we can give some examples that people acquire wealth or power or fame or pleasure because all that things give them happiness so we may be seeking different things in our life but ultimate goal is to seek happiness at the end but we can also write the answer in just the opposite way and we can say that everybody does not aspire happiness we all don't seek happiness because there are many things in life which are more important than happiness itself for example many people aspire for service righteousness or dharma justice and choose to sacrifice their happiness in achieving these bigger goals in life suffering of great people is very important for the well-being of the society if in a society everybody is just seeking his own happiness then the society cannot grow and prosper ultimately any society grows on the basis or on the sacrifices of the great men of those societies for example we can give the example of mother teresa who spent all her life serving the poor and needy mahatma gandhi also never sought happiness he has gone to prison so many times he sacrificed for human welfare and human well being we can also give example of nelson mandela who spent half of his life in prison because of principles which he uphold more dear than anything else 
We also know that in the normal day-to-day -day life, a mother sacrifices her happiness to bring the child in, in the world and also to brought up the child. A soldier who is fighting on the border is sacrificing his happiness for protecting the honor of the country. So these are the examples which we can give if we want to say that happiness is not the most important goal of life. Happiness is not the most important inspiration of life and we seek many other things beyond happiness. So friends, in this way you can write the answer of this particular question. Please write in your own words and we will give you your feedback. Thank you very much.